We've been debating the issue of illegal immigration for years now. President Trump now wants to cut down on legal immigration. It is controversial because, as Jacqueline Matter tells us, under the president's plan, a lot of our parents and grandparents would have been excluded from coming into the country. President Trump unveiling a much-awaited plan on the nation's immigration system earlier this month by placing people with certain skills at the front of the line while pushing others to the back. This is a move in the right direction. Um, it's fundamentally changing our immigration process, our legal immigration process, which is badly needed. I think something has to be done to balance out to help the economy. I think it weakens us more than it strengthens us. In an effort to cut legal immigration in half by 2027, President Donald Trump's new proposal would mean a massive reduction in legal immigration and cut a policy that aims to keep families together. The proposal would limit who could be sponsored for immigration to immediate family members. It would end the diversity visa lottery program and it would cap permanent resident status for refugees to 50,000 a year. For Sarasota Republican State Committeeman Christian Ziegler, he thinks this new plan is just what America needs. For years I've been saying that we need to move to a merit-based immigration system. Everything he's put in his proposal makes a lot of sense. I think this is a great first step. Um, it's really common sense. Um, and so I encourage him, to, let's pass this. Opponents were sharply critical of the proposal, however, saying it would cut jobs and hurt our economy. Reduce the number of lower skilled workers that are coming to the country that certain types of industries rely upon. Called the Reforming American Immigration for Strong Employment Act, or RAISE Act, the bill would only allow spouses and minor children to apply for green card status and focus on a merit-based application to limit the immigrant pool. It favors people between the ages of 26 and 30 with a doctorate, high English proficiency, and a job offer with a high salary. Applicants would need at least 30 points to be eligible for a visa under the proposal, and the fastest way to get there is to have a Nobel Prize or comparable international award. The vast majority of Americans, if roles were reversed, would not be getting into this country under that system. It's actually going to benefit more people that have been here, that are waiting, and that actually deserve the green card. I think it's okay for us to put in some guidelines and some criteria that they have to meet. Even if that bar is really high, let's get the best of the best coming into our country and contributing to our society. If enacted, the plan would reduce legal immigration to around 500,000 people a year within a decade. And both sides disagree on whether getting the plan through Congress will be difficult. And I think it needs to get passed because really when you look at immigration, it is our country's only opportunity to select our citizens. I am very doubtful that this act would pass. I think that any immigration reform act is going to be a very, very hard sell. I'd venture to guess that no, it will not pass in Congress. Uh, but. If anything, the last year has taught me a bit of humility, uh, so who knows. It remains to be seen if this proposal will move forward as Republicans hold 52 of the Senate's 100 seats and the bill would need 60 votes to pass. Jacqueline Matter, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.